Most reporters accustomed to reporting on police abuses across America know what a headlock is. A headlock is when a state sheriff or a local city policeman enlists his family and friends or community employees of other people's corporations to participate in a type of cat and mouse game, a type of give and take game, a type of I'm going to take this and then I'm going to give this back game. The reality is that that corporate headlock that they're trying to put people in is so that they can take people illegally on unlawful litigation unlawful legal documents and legal records that they have produced all on their own without any provocation to jail to abuse them further. We have several sheriffs in both Indiana and Illinois and other states that have participated in this during the last maybe five years. We are very much becoming aware in America that people are becoming intolerant of police officers because they are not participating in being peace officers. They are not participating in a way that keeps our communities safe. They do a lot of drive-bys, they do a lot of drive-arounds, they do a lot of reporting on their own in records that does not allow a person to say no to their invasion of a human being's life. A lot of times it's innocent people who don't know what's been placed on their name because no one has informed them and police officers like that. They like that so that they can abuse people and every reporter that calls out the police officers for their illness of men for their offense to the federal government for how they're behaving is usually abused further. It is a risk that a reporter takes when they are putting themselves out there to talk about the things that they observe, to talk about the things they see, to talk about the things they fee think, and to talk about the things they believe. You see, there's two types of reporting at work today. There is news coverage that is happening in the day today, the actual moment of the day and then there is reporting that is based on opinion, observation, column expectation, and a concept of observation that is more empirical data than what we might call a true fact investigatory data. Each person may or may not be familiar with this because you're not a journalism degree person, but every person in America has the right to use every skill set of their background and their education to produce for themselves a life and income a shelter, food for sustenance, and basically the service that they provide to a community in teaching them things, or preaching to them things, or evaluating for people things. And that is the truth of America.